Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today we're going to finish our series on Green Screen Wizard 7.0 by talking about Event Mode. Now Event Mode is part of Green Screen Wizard Pro Batch and Event. It's our top of the line product. Now you might ask yourself, why do we need Event Mode? Well, Green Screen Wizard was designed to be simple to use not necessarily efficient or quick. So it's very obvious to load a foreground and load a background and when you print pick a template then pick a printer. But all these things take time and while it's simple and straightforward it is time consuming. So wouldn't it be better if you had people standing in line waiting for their photos that you could pre-select a lot of these things. So you could pre-select your printer and you could pre-select your, your layout and you could pre-select where things were stored. Well all of these things are part of Green Screen Wizard event mode. So let's take a look at event mode. You go to the batch icon and you click on event mode. And as you can see you can select a printer and a template and we'll just do that for a second. So in my case, oops, well it doesn't matter. Select that as a printer um, maybe we'll do something fancy like 3x5 and a bunch of wallets as our template. And we already have an image source folder. Now unlike the file, unlike uh, load a foreground which pops up a dialog box and makes you scroll through it, the event mode has this cool little feature, I, I like to call it the tape deck feature. Uh, where you can just click next and next, previous, last, first. So you can see how efficient this is rather than going through every image over and over again or, or you know scrolling to the bottom and finding it and saying is that you, you just click next, next, next and if the guy doesn't like that you can go back a couple. So anyways it, it ends up just being a heck of a lot more efficient. So now what can we do once we have a, a print on the page? Let's say a, a Leo here. Well, we can do something called a quick print. What that does is it sends the print to the selected printer with the selected printer template. And that's it. Boom. Print it. But what if you want to save the image and print it? Well, that's a little more complicated. What you do, if you remember from the last talk, we talked about batch print. And batch print can set up a printer and a template and a source folder and what you do what it does is when you hit save in event mode it saves it to the source folder of the batch print and if you click this watch for new images the batch print will discover the new image and it'll print it so okay so what's the difference between quick print and save to batch print it seems to do the same thing well the difference is in quick print it just prints and you go on in save to batch and print, you basically are saving the image and printing it. So later you have a copy of all the images you created. So it really depends on you. If you don't care, if that person's walking away with the print and you'll never see them again, then just use quick print. If you'd like to have a copy of all of the images, then use the save. And you can also just do a normal save. So, okay. So we can do all of that cool stuff. So now we can slide through here and print. Uh, another thing you should know is that you can set whatever you set your print up as. That's what's um, that's what's going to happen for all the images in that folder. So for example, if we gave a title, If we gave a title of the green screen ball and maybe we put a logo on here. Now when we do event mode, it's going to take every person and give it that same title. So that that's um, uh, kind of how how that works. So basically anything that you set up will will be still there. It's as if you you went to home and clicked the uncheck the reset on load button all of your images will um, 
have the same content. All right, well, what about pick background? Uh, so we can pick a background. And for Leo, I guess it would be nice to select the, uh, the rocks. But let's go find our, our swimsuit model. She doesn't look so good on rocks. But notice when I pick background in event mode, it doesn't change out the, the subject. And that's to make it more efficient. That way uh, you, know, you can pick backgrounds very quickly. Now in the old version, the exact mouse mode actually was part of the original um, event mode. And now, of course, uh, it's part of 7.0. So you can decide what you'd like to move. You can move the foreground, you can move the background, you can move the image itself. Most times we want to move the foreground. So what that tells us is we can move the foreground around and scale it in event mode. So you never, for the most part, you don't have to leave this, uh, this setup. One of the other features that is a little more complicated is called GSW. So right now we can change backgrounds using the pick background. We can add text. We can do whatever. But what if we have we want to choose between something complicated like say a magazine cover versus uh, just something with a bunch of text? But what we can do is we can set up our image and then save it as a GSW file. And we do that by going to setup and click unclick this so that it'll automatically save a GSW file with every save file. Okay, so I just happen to have a few GSW files. Here's one that's the crystal ball. So if I open that, the girl's in the crystal ball. I could also load a black and white template. So now it's black and white. So that way you can quickly change between pretty dramatic templates. So I would always keep the same image size, so I wouldn't mess with that. Um, and now, again, everything that's in the template uh, is um, applied to the next image when you click Next. Now, if you keep going, you'll notice that it stops. And that's because there's no more images in the file to process. It's waiting for a file. So this has to do with tethering your computer. Let me just talk about that for a second. If you go to greenscreenwizard.com and you scroll down, you'll see this little photo booth. And you can click Tell Me More. And here's a whole description of how Green Screen Wizard works in batch mode and what the advantages are and all that. But the big paragraph here is the concept of watch folders and tethering. So what you can do is you can actually connect your camera to the computer and then uh, there's uh, several options to do that. Some some of these are free options. Nikon or um, Canon gives it to you for free. Nikon charges you. Um, there's actually this do-it-yourself photo bits has got a pretty nice free tethering solution. And of course you can buy the Wi-Fi card which Basically, you put a card in your camera and it transmits photos to your computer. And probably the top of the line is the Breeze Systems. Uh, Breeze Systems specializes in tethering solutions and photo booths and things of that nature. Okay, so back to Green Screen Wizard. So anyways, I would recommend you read that. So the last, thing, last two things that we haven't talked about are entering email address. Well, we can set up an email and set up our server and get everything ready to go but notice we don't have to have an email address so in event mode we can enter an email address can see .com. okay and we have to have an image there we go and now we can send email now in the past in event mode you had to wait for the email to send but now you can send an email and click previous and send another email previous 
send another email. You don't have to wait for it to send. And if you go to the email processor, well, it's already done. Um, but anyways, it, it, it'll send in, into the background. And this is actually uh, something to look at. So this mail failed because I didn't really have the SMTP server set correctly. So if I fix the SMTP server, I can resend my failed mail. Uh, everything is preserved, in other words. So you can go to an event that doesn't have an internet connection, collect all the email addresses, still s pretend to send the mail even though it's going to fail, and then later fix fix the connection and click resend mail. Okay, so we go back to event mode. Now, sometimes if you're at an event, you'd like to put the person's name on it. So it's called. Uh, And again, we can use our mouse mode, and we can move the event text if we want to where we want it. Not sure that's how you spell Kathy. Let's go with something simple. King Colby. Anyways, so now when you do your next one, you could enter Leo. And so on and so forth. And so that gives you the advantage of, uh, particularly if you're at a uh, a prom, you could say Betty and Betty and Jim, Sally and Fred. Uh, on the and on the top, you could have the prom. At the top of the screen, you could have the prom photos and uh, etc. So that's basically it for event mode. Uh, I think it's very efficient. I'm actually going to, in uh, version 8.0, the, uh, this is pretty similar to the Mac version, but the Mac version has uh, some preview images up here. I didn't really have the time to do that. I want to get 7.0 out, and I want to get the basics of the uh, background emailing s sent out as soon as possible. But um, as you can see, it's a pretty efficient system as it is and uh, it'll be a free upgrade once I do improve it. So I hope you'll consider event mode. Oh, one last thing I should say before, before we leave. Uh, when you run a batch, sometimes maybe you don't want to run event, event mode, but you may want to run a batch in which you stop and look at each picture. That's basically what event mode is. So you can go through a batch of photos and just click next, save, next, save, next, save, next, save. And everything will... Um, you know, it's a very efficient way to go through uh, a series of images and correct any problems you have as you go. Well, that concludes my uh, my talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please consider Green Screen Wizard and tell your friends. Thanks a lot.